Ketamine is a unique and widely used medication in clinical medicine with diverse applications. As a dissociative anesthetic, ketamine primarily acts as an antagonist of the NMDA receptor, a subtype of glutamate receptors in the central nervous system. By blocking the NMDA receptor, ketamine disrupts the normal transmission of pain signals, leading to its analgesic and anesthetic properties. One of the primary uses of ketamine is for sedation and analgesia during medical procedures. It induces a state of dissociative anesthesia, where the patient remains conscious but experiences a sense of detachment from their surroundings and reduced perception of pain. This makes it valuable for procedures such as minor surgical interventions, fracture reductions, and wound management, particularly in pediatric and emergency settings. Ketamine possesses unique bronchodilatory properties, making it useful in managing acute asthma exacerbations and other respiratory conditions. By relaxing the smooth muscle of the airways, ketamine effectively improves airflow and facilitates breathing. Furthermore, ketamine maintains respiratory drive and preserves protective airway reflexes, offering a safer alternative to other anesthetic agents in certain clinical scenarios. Emerging evidence suggests that ketamine may have neuroprotective properties, potentially beneficial in various neurological conditions. Studies indicate that ketamine may help mitigate the effects of traumatic brain injury, stroke, and neurodegenerative diseases by modulating excitotoxicity, oxidative stress, and neuroinflammation. These findings open new avenues for research and potential therapeutic applications in neurology. Beyond its anesthetic and analgesic uses, ketamine has gained attention in psychiatry. Low-dose ketamine infusions have been explored as a rapid-acting treatment for severe depression, treatment-resistant depression, and suicidal ideation. The unique mechanism of action of ketamine, involving the modulation of glutamate neurotransmission, has shown promising results in improving mood and reducing symptoms in patients with certain psychiatric disorders. While ketamine is generally considered safe and well-tolerated, it is essential to be aware of its potential adverse effects. These may include dissociative experiences, hallucinations, increased heart rate and blood pressure, and in rare cases, respiratory depression. Careful patient selection, appropriate dosing, and close monitoring are crucial when using ketamine in clinical practice. Pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics. Ketamine is rapidly distributed throughout the body following intravenous administration, with a distribution half-life of approximately 10 to 15 minutes. It undergoes hepatic metabolism, primarily via endimethylation to norketamine, which also possesses analgesic properties. The elimination half-life of ketamine is approximately 2 to 3 hours. Dosing regimens for ketamine vary, depending on the intended clinical use. For induction of anesthesia, a typical dose ranges from 1 to 2 mg per kilogram intravenously or 4 to 6 mg per kilogram intramuscularly. For procedural sedation and analgesia, lower doses of 0.5 to 1 mg per kilogram intravenously or 2 to 4 mg per kilogram intramuscularly are often employed. In the context of pain management, subanesthetic doses, 0.1 to 0.5 mg per kilogram, may be administered as an adjunct to opioid therapy or for acute pain control. Ketamine's unique pharmacological profile makes it particularly useful in certain patient populations. In trauma patients with hemodynamic instability, ketamine's sympathomimetic effects can help maintain blood pressure and cardiac output, making it a preferred agent for induction of anesthesia in this setting. Ketamine does not meaningfully increase intracranial pressure and maintains blood pressure, a critical goal in neuroresuscitation. Additionally, ketamine's preservation of respiratory function makes it valuable in patients with reactive airway disease or those at risk for bronchospasm. In pediatric anesthesia and emergency medicine, ketamine holds a special place due to its ability to provide effective sedation and analgesia with minimal respiratory depression. It is often used for short, painful procedures in children, such as fracture reductions, wound debridement, or lumbar punctures. 
The dissociative state induced by ketamine can also be advantageous in managing uncooperative or anxious pediatric patients. Recent research has explored ketamine's potential in chronic pain management, particularly in conditions such as complex regional pain syndrome, CRPS, fibromyalgia, and neuropathic pain. Complex regional pain syndrome is a severe form of chronic pain, in which pain from a physical trauma outlasts the expected recovery time. Low-dose ketamine infusions or intranasal ketamine have shown promise in providing pain relief and improving function in some patients with refractory chronic pain conditions. However, more research is needed to establish optimal dosing regimens and long-term safety profiles for these applications. In the field of critical care medicine, ketamine has found utility in the management of mechanically ventilated patients. Its analgesic and sedative properties, combined with its minimal effects on respiratory drive, make it a valuable adjunct in sedation protocols. Most patients treated for agitation with dissociative dose ketamine will emerge from dissociation safely and not require intubation. Ketamine can help reduce opioid requirements and may facilitate earlier weaning from mechanical ventilation in some patients. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comments section.